Hey, what's going on, guys? Drayski back with another video for you guys. All right, so look, listen, man, I'm I'm really, really tired. Um, I, I stayed up pretty much the whole night. Uh, if you guys saw that, I, I released that uh, video early this morning. Um, I also wanted to know, what do you guys want to see with the reviews? Uh, I know I could do better. Um, it, it's my first. It was my first review in a while. Uh, what what would you like to me to go over in the reviews? Because I have the Python review coming out very soon. Uh, that should be coming out today. But Destiny servers decided to uh, shut down on us, so we we ended up just not being able to play for a little bit. But it looks like they're back up now as of me recording this. So I'll definitely get that Python review out for you guys. And I'm working on the buzzard also. I gotta get I gotta get that later on tonight. Uh, but yeah, man, uh, what would you guys like to see in this um, this these type of reviews and stuff like that? I wanna I wanna be able to help you guys as much as I can and basically get you guys to get the guns just as quickly as I did. But uh, this here is with the gameplay in the background. Really, I'm just having a guy showing telling you guys exactly what i did to get this weapon in one day if you follow my stream if you if you watch my stream or anything i know a lot of you guys haven't but uh for the newer people coming to the channel if you watch my stream uh i actually i was playing uh classic mix i would recommend playing classic mix over the other playlists because it's connection based um, and your connection really means a lot when you're looking to um, hit these fusion rifle, these linear fusion rifle shots. It's harder to hit these shots in a regular control because, of course, it's skill based matchmaking, but it's harder to hit these shots because uh, if someone lags, it's like you hit them and they don't take damage at all. And it's really weird. Uh, so I would recommend just playing uh, Classic Mix. I haven't had really much connection issues in Classic Mix. And that, that's, that's pretty much the go-to playlist for me. Uh, also, if you want to get this done a lot faster, uh, if you have a Crook Fang, put the Crook Fang on. It's really good because it has a quicker charge time than the Arbalist. And uh, I will have the Arbalist and the Crook Fang on. So when you get heavy, you'll be able to probably pump out uh, kills faster with the little the few bullets that you get for heavy I actually did not use crook fang the whole time uh, I did the whole thing with arbalist I just said I, I don't know I just felt like doing it with arbalist I actually like the arbalist a lot uh, but yeah um, definitely put on crook fang if you want to get this done faster because heavy ammo uh, linear fusion rifles are obviously better than the arbalist because the arbalist is a kinetic and it's still a special ammo or a special weapon so they don't want it to be as overpowered as the regular linear fusion rifle so the charge time is a little slower but for the most part uh i would recommend playing classic mix and going and doing what you had to do with that playlist and it'll it, you'll get it you'll get the gun relatively fast so it's i believe it's 125 final blows 15 precision kills and reach the glory rank of heroic uh, if you guys haven't already make sure that you hop in the survival playlist uh and do freelance do not do the regular competitive playlist um for survival because it, it, you'll go against like teams of three and communication is always key at the end of the day if you have better communication with your teammates you're not going to have a good time in that playlist and um yeah the freelance playlist is definitely the way to go for a competitive if you got i'm pretty sure everybody knows this people have been doing it before um and just make sure you go in there man it, it's it took me 30 to 40 minutes uh just to get to heroic and uh get my little my little komodo man the komodo is is a really nice fusion rifle or linear fusion rifle i've been using it a lot uh i was playing with it pretty much all day yesterday ever since i got it 
and it's it's really good it's a really nice fusion rifle it feels snappy the charge time is excellent it's the fast i swear it's the fastest charge time linear fusion rifle in the game oh no the um i believe the queen breaker is actually faster with the combat sites but other than that this one is uh one of the fastest and um i know i haven't i know like some people are coming to my channel like oh well you know i, I see you do a lot of 2k videos i've seen some people comment and stuff on my videos like you know i i do 2k but look <laughs> i've played destiny since 2000 since destiny 1 came out i've been a destiny player this whole time i know so much about destiny it's just that and i love destiny a lot it's just that my love for destiny kind of diminished over a period of time when destiny 2 came out it kind of diminished a little bit but then it ended up getting back up to it ended up getting hype again bro over the past couple months or so i ended up getting hype again for destiny um it died off a little bit with forsaken when i got the wendigo in the hush i should have kept going but i, I kind of just i was like I don't, I don't really care that much but sorry i got off topic again i know you guys see that i like to rant i like to talk to you guys man i like to express my feelings to you guys but once again uh back onto the komodo the komodo is an excellent linear fusion rifle I would say it's definitely above average. I would say that it's better than the Queen Breaker. And the only reason why I say that is because of the aim assist on the Queen Breaker. The aim assist, when they nerfed it, it it just messed it up for me, like, completely. When they nerfed it, it was just like, okay, I can't use this as good as I could before. And, um... Now, if you put, like, the linear fusion rifle target in and all that other stuff that they got set up, you can definitely uh, use the Queen Breaker good. But I've used the Komodo without any targeting, and it it's still nice. It still, it still slaps, bruh. Like, regardless, it slaps, like I'm telling you. And, um, yeah, and, and Gambit, it's one of the i would say it's really nice to use in gambit but the range kills it in gambit it's harder to hit those shots in gambit like cross map shots that's why i told you guys about box breathing yesterday but, but with box breathing you have to aim down sight for a couple seconds and get that box breathing to proc before you take the shot and then from that point on you have to be super accurate or you will have to wait another like second or two for box breathing the proc again so it's okay for gambit um but if you get if you're good at hitting your shots and you got like a steady hand it's really nice but i would definitely just recommend using a sniper at that point and um this is definitely it was built for crucible it really was because the map size for crucible fits this weapon perfectly because the range fits perfectly for crucible maps uh gambit is more of a distance that you have to shoot so it's like the it's like the bullet just or the linear fuse rifle shot just disappears or something like i don't i don't know how to explain it it just feel like it just freaking you shoot at someone and it like disintegrates halfway to the person or something like that i don't know how to really explain it but once you guys get it you'll see what i'm talking about um but yeah, I'm going to reiterate this. Make sure that you play the classic playlist. Uh, use the Arbalist and the Crook Fang to get the most efficient progress. I'm surprised it was only 15 headshots. Because 15 headshots is nothing. I go... Uh, like, why would you not go for headshots with a linear fusion rifle anyway? It's a one-shot kill. So, I, I thought it was 50, but it wasn't. <laughs> so it was 15 and that is that that's not a lot and getting the heroic is really easy and the 125 kills is probably the lengthiest portion of the quest and that's the issue that's what people are having more of an issue with 
is getting the kills with the fusion rifle because it's a little harder to use linear fusion rifles in pvp unless it's like the arbalist because it's a primary but anyway this is it for me i got the python video coming up later and i love you guys peace